All right, this is Box of Wave. I'm going to speak on the Miguel Cotto, Sergio Martinez fight. All right, but before that, I'm going to speak on the uh, face-off with Max Kellerman. Now, the reason why I'm going to do a little update to the fight is because I did a prediction video back in December, back when they were still in the talks of fighting. All right, I did this a long time ago. So uh, I watched that video, and I'm like, wow, this was a while ago, you know. But um, not much changed since then. But anyway, the, the face-off was really good. I don't know about you guys, but... It's been a while since I really enjoyed the face-off between two fighters. Like, it was a lot of tension watching that, okay? <laughs> they talked all about this business stuff. And it's like, you could go either way with it. Because Miguel Cotto has matured in the sport as a businessman. And, um, you know, just as a fighter, but as a businessman. You know, he's been in the ring. He's been in the, the pay-per-view. He's been in there with the best, the biggest fighters. Sergio Martinez has proven himself, okay? He's been in there with good, really good fighters. Uh, he's definitely a Class A fighter, okay? I say Class A because I'm, I'm going to get to that. He definitely is a Class A fighter, okay? But Miguel Cotto was trying to break down things on a business standpoint. And when I first heard, you know, all, all the requests he made leading up to the fight, I kind of thought it was ridiculous myself. But after hearing him, and he, you know, it's funny because for a guy that's going into a fight with possibly the most style-wise is the most hardest fight in his career, I think. I think this fight with Sergio Martinez is his most toughest fight, all right? Even compared to Pacquiao and Floyd because of the styles and the size and speed advantage, okay? For Cotto, I think this is his toughest fight by far, Okay. Uh, you know, he seems pretty cool. He has a good, he's like in the right state of mind. Where Sergio Martinez, I mean, I guess he's in the right state of mind too because he wants to go in there and destroy this guy. I mean, he wants to knock this guy out, you know, in nine rounds, you know. Uh, and Cotto is trying to explain why he made all these requests. And after listening to him, I kind of understand, you know, he was explaining how, you know, uh, there's an A and a B side to this. I'm the A, you know, because not because of the skills in the ring, but because I've been there, you know, I fought with Pacquiao and Mayweather and I understood my position. Listen, people are paying to see Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. There's people that's paying to see me, but these guys are the biggest stars. And, you know, I'm the B side in those fights. You know, I dealt with the same circumstances when I fought those guys, you know, and I understood my position, okay, as the less popular fighter, you know, and they were able to make those kind of requests. I dealt with the same thing, and this is why I'm doing it here. Listen, I fought nine times in Madison Square Garden, sellouts. This is what, this is my traditional thing that I do here. Have you ever fought in Madison Square Garden? Sergio Martinez, he is so old school. He's like, why does this matter? You know, who cares? Okay, I'm the champion. All right. He is stuck on tradition. He's not really into the business side of things. And this is why you could go either way with this. All right. Um, but I understand what Cotto was saying. Cotto was like, listen, he's strictly business. This is all business. Now, this is what made me feel like, you know what? I understand more towards what Miguel Cotto said. When he brought up the weight, all right, he requested to fight at 158 when the team when Sergio Martinez team said nah the lowest he can go is 159 listen you know he was like okay you know that's cool I'm not gonna cancel the fight over one pound okay because that has something that actually that have to do with uh, the fighting itself it's not about what ring quarter or who's walking out to the ring first or anything like that so I understood where he was coming from I'm like you know what Cotto is not being the diva. He's just, as a business standpoint, when you're selling tickets, people are not going to want to see Sergio Martinez against Miguel Cotto. And Madison Square Garden, you know, he fights here damn near every year, whether he loses or not. This is where he, this is his thing. This is people in New York. So I have Puerto Ricans in New York, okay? They, they, they buy the tickets. He's the Puerto Rican's biggest star since 
uh, Phil is Trinidad. So I understand where he's coming from, okay? Um, Sergio Martinez, he clearly didn't understand where he was coming from because even towards the end of the face-off, he's like, well, you never beat a Class A fighter. How can you be a Class A fighter? You know, and he's like, no, not Class A as fighting, as a fighter, as in the business. You know, Sergio Martinez, so old school, but it's great for boxing because Sergio Martinez doesn't care about all of that. He wants to just get in the ring and knock this guy's head off. And, you know, that's all he cares about at the end of the day. But this is why you could tell the difference in maturity here. You know what I'm saying? But all right, let me start talking about all that. It was a great face-off, very intense. Um, I thought they did well, a great job overall, you know. Um, I think Max Kellerman didn't get too much into himself. Sometimes he kind of gets a little bit too much like he did with the Timothy Bradley, Manny Pacquiao face-off where he's telling too much of his his opinion on who won the first fight. I didn't like that face-off, okay? I like this one because these guys were directly talking to each other, answering each other's questions, you know, but... Miguel Cotto is very respectful, shake his hand, everything. It was good. Oh, okay, so the fight for fight itself, you know, I, I see my first video, and you know, I feel I thought I feel the same way. I think Sergio Martinez is gonna win this fight. Now, if you you don't know, you ain't watch my channel. Miguel Cotto is my favorite fighter. Like, I want Miguel Cotto to find a way to win this fight so so bad. You know, that's my personal feelings. Uh, but as far as the matchup, Sergio Martinez has all of the advantages, all of them. You know. Um, and leading up to the fight, you know, when I talk about this fight outside of the camera and doing this, I, you know, a lot of people, the few people that think Miguel Cotto is going to win this fight, they're basing it solely off Sergio Martinez's uh, last fight against Martin Murray, which was a fight that could have gone either way, okay? Or, and they're basing it off his, uh, his injury, okay, and his age. Um, not many of them are basing it off his skills, okay, the skill difference and the size and, you know, when they're not basing it on that type of stuff. They're basing it off, you know, assumption that he doesn't have it anymore because he took this long layoff. And me personally, you really can't do that because you got to base people off how you saw him last. I mean, he didn't look spectacular against Martin Murray, but Martin Murray is a much bigger fighter. Bigger fighter than Sergio Martinez. Much bigger fighter than Miguel Cotto. I mean, as a talent, skill level, I think Miguel, Miguel Cotto is a better fighter, fighter than Martin Murray. But Martin Murray is so much bigger than Miguel Cotto that if, if Martin Murray fought Miguel Cotto, what do you think of the outcome of that fight is? It's just two different levels of size you know it doesn't even matter the skill sometimes like that's a really big guy against a smaller guy that Miguel Cota hasn't even looked that great at 54 you know what I'm saying as a junior middleweight he hasn't looked spectacular we haven't seen him look spectacular since he lost to uh, Antonio Margarito and that's just me being honest as a fan you know I think his confidence has slowly shifted a little bit since that first loss because it was a brutal loss. All right. Now, uh, I do think I was a little bit passive with Miguel Cotto. You know, uh, I do think Sergio Martinez could and most likely will stop Miguel Cotto. Okay. He should be able to. I mean, he's the bigger guy. He's stronger and his, his movement, his speed is on a different level. Uh, about last week, I was watching Miguel Cotto fight uh, Austin Trout. I was watching that fight again. And you watch that fight, and Austin Trout never seemed to be in any kind of trouble. You know, he lost to Canelo. He lost to Lara. He got dropped in both of those fights, okay? Two of the best at 54, I think. And you watch the fight with Cotto. It seemed like, you know, Cotto won his few rounds there, but... He never really seemed to be in any danger, Austin Trout, I'm talking about. Austin Trout never seemed to be in any kind of danger. You know, he's a southpaw. He used, even on the inside, you know, he just never seemed to be hurt or anything by Cotto like that, you know. He seemed to just use his jab. It looked like an easy, pretty easy fight, you know, going back and watching it again. I haven't watched it since it was, uh, since the fight. But, uh, it just seemed like it was very easy. He never seemed to be in any trouble. You know, he never seemed threatened by Cotto's power that we know he has. All right. Uh, and um, 
I watched that fight and then I started watching a couple of Sergio Martinez fights because what I was trying to do is I was trying to fight a fight where Martinez has for anyone that has a style that was similar to Cotto's and he has I already knew but I started watching some of Sergio Martinez fights after that fight all right this was this last week I already done a prediction video a long time ago and I'm like damn Sergio Martinez is just on another level than Austin Trout they both southpaws but Sergio Martinez you know I mean as far as the speed you can probably give it to Austin Trout maybe the slight edge because he just looked like he had the faster jab but outside of that the skills that the movement you know it was just on a different level than Austin Trout and Sergio Martinez is bigger than Austin Trout and just more talented and it's like man you know Trout didn't seem threatened even though he, we seen that he could get knocked down and he's gonna get in there with Sergio Martinez like a guy that's a much better fighter Honestly, you know, I I really, you know, I, I hope Cotto can find a way to win this fight. But I don't think he stands a chance against Sergio Martinez. And this guy is really motivated to stop Cotto. He's really, I see it. I believe in him. You know, I believe he really wants to stop Cotto and make this fight look bad for him. You know, Sergio Martinez is that kind of fighter. You know, when he doesn't respect you. And he feels like he hasn't gotten the respect that he... He's always hungry. For him being a champion for so long, he's still hungry. He's never lost it because he doesn't feel like he's getting the respect. You know, so he's fighting a guy thinking he's the one that's coming on the come up. I mean, as far as uh, status, uh, as far as the name, this is the biggest guy he's ever fought, Miguel Cotto. You know what I'm saying? So he is like... He feels like he's the underdog. You know, I don't know, man. You know, my guess here is the only thing that's going to help Cotto, and it's not his injuries, and it's not uh, Sergio Martinez's, you know, uh, his injuries or anything like that. Uh, you know, I've never seen Sergio Martinez fight someone that's like a bull coming straight to him to, to, to attack the body. I'm interested to see that. You know, Sergio Martinez, and I said this in a prediction video. He's been knocked down. He gets flash knocked down a lot, okay? He's been knocked down in almost all of his recent fights, okay? Period. He gets knocked down. It is what it is. Just like Marquez, he gets knocked down. He gets back up, but he gets knocked down. Cotto has to come in. He's gonna, we already know he's going to attack the body. Landing on a solid left hook up top, you know, when he's close. He can drop Sergio Martinez. And I said this in a prediction video. He can drop Sergio Martinez. Okay? Can he stop him? No. Not in my opinion. But he could definitely drop Sergio Martinez. Okay? Um, I think that's his best bet. Alright? Getting a couple 10-8 rounds in there. You know? But other than that, Sergio Martinez, it's going to be hard for him because he's going to be taking damage. Sergio Martinez is going to split Cotto's guard. You know, that high guard he has, he's going to split, he's going to punch, land some jabs in there, and keep moving. You know, he does that move, he, he, he keeps his arms down, throws a jab, throws a jab, um, has a vicious uppercut. He's going to split Cotto's guard, he's going to bust Cotto's face. Cotto is going to have to take a lot of damage to get in, and get in close and land some body shots, you know. Uh, and I think it might be too much, you know. I don't know if it's going to be a knife round stoppage, but I definitely see a stoppage there, all right. But I'm rooting for Cotto. Uh, listen, guys, that's it. I'm not going to talk about the fight anymore. I did a prediction video. If you want to go back and look at that, I did one back in December a while ago, okay? I'm going to put the link of that in the uh, description for this video. But I still have Martinez winning, possibly by stoppage, late stoppage, okay? Um, and uh, that's my thoughts on the fight. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Twitter account. I have an Instagram too. Follow me on all that stuff. You can talk about the fight to me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter every day. All right. So that's it. And uh, leave comments.